All right, good morning everyone. It's Raynaba from Aldrid.org. Uh, I've got another tutorial video for you. This one's how to update from the stock 2.1 Eclair to Froyo 2.2 on the Droid X um, using the update zip that's been distributed over at MyDroid World. Um, first and foremost, you need to have a rooted 2.1 Droid X. I've got another tutorial in my videos. I'll see if I can throw up a link on here uh, right about now. And once you've got that, uh, next thing is you need to determine whether you're running Kusha's recovery. Um, I'm hearing mixed feedback on this, but some people appear to be having problems running the update to 2.2 with an installed. So I'm going to show you um, the basics of how you would do that, or at least explain it real quick. Uh, I have a tutorial that I will also link to at Aldroid. Um, it's based on the original root tutorial um, written by me and Birdman. And this one is also me and Birdman. Um, he pretty much did the root for 2.2 also for the guys at my Droid World. Um, first thing is if you have the recovery, you want to go into your menu and settings and applications manage applications find it in this list you'll click on it we'll uh, we'll use root explorer as an example and then you want to uninstall and hit ok once that's uninstalled you need to shut down your phone by holding the power button up top and clicking power off and your phone will shut down after a couple seconds once it's fully powered down turn it back on let it boot back up come back to your home screen this is where you need to go in and do a little bit of cleanup <clears throat> based on the feedback that I've been hearing and again I can't say for a fact that this is necessary but the people that have had problems have had major problems and you have to do a whole lot to downgrade your phone and reroute it and it just ends up being a big mess so if you look in the background here I got a terminal going <clears throat> you're gonna connect to your phone using ADB shell run SU you'll notice now I have a pound sign over there on the left instead of a dollar sign that means that I have a super user shell now I can do pretty much anything I need to do and you're going to do You see the whole thing? Okay. And that's going to remount your system partition and make it read write. That's critical for the next step. So if you get any errors, you can't move forward. You're going to have to go seek some help on IRC or on the forums uh, to get beyond that. Next thing is you want to CP from system bin log wrapper dot bin to system bin log wrapper. Again, if you get any errors, that means you did something wrong. I'll, I'll probably get one so I can show you. There you go. It tells you log wrapper bin does not exist because I don't have it installed. Once you've done that step, then again, power down the phone, power it back up, and you'll be back to your home screen. All that does is um, put the original log wrapper back where it belongs. So once you've gotten that, then you're going to come back to your phone. Um, and connect your phone to the computer or any number of ways to do this but the easiest way generally is come over here and then select USB mass storage so that you can transfer the update.zip onto the base of your SD card. It must be named update.zip and it must be at the root of your SD card in order for this to work. Once you've got the update.zip in place and again Go ADB shell and then SU. That'll take you to a super user prompt. Then again, mount 
dash o remount rw system dev excuse me not system dev lock mmc blk1 p21 it's a system and again that puts your system partition into read write mode now this is the step you cannot miss and I'm going to show you how to check to make sure it worked if you get it wrong and you run the update you won't be rooted and you're going to have to come all the way back to scratch 2.1 reroute everything you don't want to have to do it so you need to cp system bin su to system x bin su and the way you can confirm, aside from not getting an error message that that worked, is you can go ls system xbin su. If that's the result you get, then you know you're good. I'm going to do another ls for a file that doesn't exist, just so you can see what an error would look like in case it wasn't successful. See, it says no such file or directory. If you see that error on that last step where you're doing system bin su, then do not move forward to the flash or you're not going to have root and you're going to have to come back and do all kinds of extra work. Just don't want to do it. All right, so now that I know I've copied my SU over, I get to move forward with the flash. Now I've got my update.zip on the root of my SD card. I've got SU copied over into XBIN and I've taken care of any potential issues with Kusha's recovery. So now we need to shut down the phone. And the next step you might hear one or two variations on, but this is how I learned to do it. Down here on the bottom you've got the home key. You're going to press and hold the home key press and hold the power key and hold them both until the Moto logo comes up then let go of the power key continue to hold the home key and we should get a little triangle here then press your search key that brings up the stock recovery okay so now we're in the stock recovery and we're ready to apply the update The way this works is use your volume control over here on the right to come down to apply SD card update dot zip and then you reach over here on the right and you hit your camera button and it will begin the update. It's going to check the package and then go through a process that will take a few minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, speed this little video up. And we're just about done. And there you have it, folks. Now we go ahead and reboot system by clicking the camera button on the right. And we are going to reboot into Froyo. And there you have it, folks. You can tell by the lock screen. You have Froyo. Enjoy! Don't forget to come back to Aldroid for more tutorials, ROMs, hacks, one of our favorite developers, I got a call out right now, Birdman, because he rooted the Droid X 2.1 and then he rooted Droid X 2.2. He's on a roll and we expect a couple more will be coming down the pipe soon. Hope to see you there.